All right, guys, so I don't know if I should go up to Beaver Dam again, because, um, yeah, it's pretty windy and noisy here. And I just ran myself right into the side, so I could do this nice intro for you guys, because today is going to be an interesting day, middle of December, and I'm going to do a fishing challenge with Ethan. Um, Ethan is another YouTuber, and I have him explain to you guys the rules. So here he is. Yo, what's poppin'? My name's Ethan, known on YouTube as Online Outdoorsman, and today, Jimmy and I are competing in a December topwater fishing challenge. Now, both of us are exclusively fishing with this evergreen gizmo topwater. It literally comes in at less than an eighth of an ounce, so it's perfect for BFS. We have three hours to fish, and we're going for the most total length. I gotta be honest with you, I live in Michigan, and I'm literally targeting brown trout. I have no idea what to expect, but I do know one thing. I am gonna destroy Jimmy. Let's get started. All right, so that is the rules. So. Three hour limit, catching a pickerel. It's gonna be easy for me. Come on guys, I catch pickerels till freezes over. But the question is, will I catch it with this lure here, the gizmo, evergreen gizmo. I got the killer bee version. I also got the green pumpkin colored version. I did post this on my uh, community tab, which I will post you know, specific lures sometimes, either as a teaser, questions and stuff like that. You guys should check that out if you guys are a sub. Uh, yeah, my community tab, uh, sometimes I'll throw out promo codes and stuff too. So uh, yeah, you guys definitely wanna check that out. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit, up, hit that bell notification so that you guys actually get those notifications when I post something up, whether it's video or you know a post. But anyway, let's open this bad boy up. I'm gonna show you guys this cool lore. BFS fishing is what we're doing today. And hold up, let me just get away from the sun again. Yeah, the wind over there is pretty crazy. So I pull up into this riverside. I don't know if I'm going up to Beaver Dam, but all right, let's see. Okay, so I can readjust this a little bit. Perfect. So here you go. This floor reminds me of, what do you call that? The Pompadour Junior, right? Or Pompadour, because it has the arms right there and you pull it. I wonder if it's gonna swim or it's gonna flap backwards. I vaguely remember seeing the video when um, they released this on YouTube, but I always wanted this. This is a uh, prox, I forgot the gram, so I'm gonna leave it down here, but I know they have a floating jig head, right? and uh, it's supposed to be one tenth of an ounce. This whole thing together might be three, but it uses like the stretchy material, kind of like the Z-Man stuff, but it feels a lot drier. I think the closer material that I think we could uh, explain this is uh, a band of anglers. I don't know if the plastic floats, but it's supposed to have you know floating mechanism. There's a little mono weed guard, which you're supposed to line up, but uh, in the box, I think it, it got a little bit malfunctioned from um, something, you know, probably from transportation, but I think I realigned it the best I can. Uh, the hook is in the bottom, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's see if we hook up something. Just talk about myself today, my BFS setup, I got the casting Zephyr, I upgraded to ceramic bearings, full ceramic, ceramic full size. Uh, I got it on my Valen Eagle Rod which is my new BFS rod from Casking. First time taking it out too, so you guys can see it for a bend for the first time. But I'll probably do a separate video uh, of that. But yeah, I'm gonna tie this on, and let's go out there and give it a shot. So yeah, the whole total weight is three grams, but it's big, chunky, so I won't get any distance with it on BFS. All right guys, so I tied a Christon loop knot, just in case it could do anything crazy. So it does float, that's nice. Uh, let's see if I can bring it into view. Look at that. That's interesting. All right, so the question is, how does it swim? And I have the glare there, so I can't really see anything. Yeah, so it doesn't really do any crazy sort of wobble, like the um, Pompadour Jr., the metal version. So Jimbo's gonna see what I could do, and oh yeah, that's right. I gotta change my brakes. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so the best way to describe this is that it's not gonna swim like the Pompadour style lures, even slow rolling it doesn't happen but when you just reel it a little bit it does pop and yes that is loud <laughs> that's ceramic bearings for you guys all right so this is what we'll do um i'm gonna do the main lake first it's windy as crap but i think it's a good time to do it now because it's gonna get windier and then i'm gonna go up in the back river uh, when I really need it. So the wind keep, direction keeps changing. It was going from here to there, but now it's going from here to here, pushing me backwards. So yeah, I'm gonna go, go fish the main lakes first. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we catch some fish. Still using the Surinoya Crane Dance line, six pound mono. 
and I have 20 pound mono leader and that should prevent those pickerels from cutting me off. Today is interesting because uh, the weather has been crazy in South Jersey because obviously I live uh, by the coast, right? So we had the Gulf Stream and everywhere else around the country, like say in Latitude area of Jersey, they're kind of having hard ice already. People was like, you're not fishing ice? I was like, dude, it's 60 degrees right now. Why am I fishing ice? <laughs> so, this is insane. Yes! 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 Dude! Got him! Got him! Got this guy! Got him! Oh, 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 no, no! Gotta land him on the deck! Gotta land him on the deck! Dude! Oh. <laughs> got him! I got him! Dude! Challenge already completed! That's what I'm talking about! I thought it was gonna be like a half an hour before it could happen, but it only happened within like 15 minutes! Ethan! So, I guess it goes with the number of fish we'll catch now, right? So, I got one on the boat. I realized I don't have my ruler, so hopefully I can do estimations, but I threw that guy back. To me, you know, it was probably like five inches. Oh, here's another one. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, this guy, gotta be at least six inches. And he came off right at the kayak, so I don't know if you count. You guys let me know if that one counted. <laughs> uh, probably didn't count. Oh, guys, this is a good casting spot here, but I got a cool cattail. Chilling right here. Just want to take a bite. Freaking call corn dog. Great. Going on now. Yo, it would be crazy if Jim was stuck here. Like, stuck, stuck. It's like, I'm stuck. Dude, this is so crazy. No wonder this stuff burns pretty good. Woo! It's like a huge danny lion. Wow, that's freaking crazy. That is crazy. Believe it or not, guys, I have never taken one of these apart when it's like late in the uh, season. It's always like in the summertime type thing. But this is pretty cool. Very cool. Now nah, I'm fluffy. So guys, I'm going back into the main lake for now. Let's see if I can get out. This is mucky. Open water, oh! Well, not too open water. This lure, although they do come and get them, I feel that uh, the hook hookup ratio. Oh, crap, 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 crap! That's a nice one. The hookup was pretty bad <laughs> That's earlier. Let me land this. Oh yeah, two, two. I wish I had my ruler, but he's got to be at least. You gotta be at least 10 inches, 11 inches, maybe even a foot. Here, you know what? I'm a size eight, you know? But I'm gonna call it eight incher. Second one landed. That's definitely not the first fish uh, that hit a second ago. So I think along this bank here, or the bushes, might have a few more. All right, guys, this cove right here, might have one or two fish. Main river, water coming down this way, wind going this way. And there's fish over there. You just saw that? That thing blew up in the background. All right, I'm not gonna go in too deep yet. Start right here. Yeah, it's gonna be super shallow. In the summertime, right over there, it has like a lot of pads, which is great. So I'm gonna start from the left. Yes, we get to the end. Alright. Let's go to the 
Left. I, I saw him. There it goes. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ethan. Three on deck. I think. Hold up. Make sure Jimbo land it first. That's a good hook set. Okay. Oh yeah. The Mr. B. And Jimbo is going to take a photo of that. And then he'll pop it out. There he goes. Easy. Oh no, you took my strap, my, uh, my strand. But uh, yeah, that's an easy tool to get hooks out of a uh, fish. Took that out. Bam. All right, so that's one nice fish. Rub the slime over there. All right, let's try the center spot. The wind kind of blew me on the side right here, so I'm just capitalizing on that. I'm gonna rotate and uh, yeah, rotate, do a few casts, and then paddle back out. All right, let's try that little corner over there. You guys probably can't see it. Oh, there's one right there to the left. He saw it. Came, came out from the bushes. There it goes, he's still coming. I'm watching him uh, chase it from the back. Now I can't see it at all, because I'm on a bush. All right, so he's definitely there and I'm caught up, so. Oh, no, 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 I'm not caught up. So this is what I'll do, I'll cast further out. Hopefully he'll come out now. <laughs> That's a different one, but boom, I'll take him. Oh, see another one start coming out after it? Oh my gosh. They're fighting for it, I think. All right, another pickerel on Jimmy's belt with this guy here. This is a better photo than the first one, so I'm gonna take the a photo here because I want this photo. That's gonna be sent to Ethan, so he knows that Jimbo is kicking butt. <laughs> What the hell is this thing? Freaking Cthulhu is coming here after me. Come on, open water picker rails. Look at that, he missed it. Wow, so much fun. December, nieces and nephews. Uncle Jimmy is getting top water bites. I should have brought my fly rod, to be quite honest. People will be so happy seeing Jimbo throw a fly rod. So what's your favorite fly? Oh, wow. As I was saying, what's your favorite fly rod, fly a fly for pickerels this small, okay? Leave me a comment below because Jimmy may give it a shot. Ha 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 ha. Enough, 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 chill, 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 chill. Oh, oh. Come on, don't, 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 don't chop down. There we go. All right, got him on the B. You guys saw how fast he went. He darted across. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. This is so much fun. All right, guys, check on time. I have 45 minutes left. Yep, the main lake didn't do too well, and I have paddle up the river to hit the Honey Cove. So I am feeling pretty confident about this. So let's get back out there and do some slaying. All right, folks. Here it goes. There's two of them. Which one's gonna take it first? That's the one right there. He, he dropped it, he dropped it. I don't know what happened. Those two collided and uh, don't know, man. He did pull it down, but I reeled down, trying to get the slack down a little bit and he spit it. I was right about to set the hook. <laughs> I was like, dude, Yeah, sometimes pickles are like that, especially a smaller one. They'd be slashing it rather than, you know, take the whole thing down. They're in here somewhere. There he goes. There he goes. See that? <laughs> Got him this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Got him. 
Got him, got him, got him. All right. So yeah, they're all definitely like eight, 10 inches. But I gonna just, you know, mark it down to six, six inches because I forgot my ruler, my bump board. Hiya. But that's a good catch. Put the slime on my boots. Slime on my boots. Okay. There's another one right behind me. Two of them. He's on me. Yeah, they're they're out in the open in the the, the pads right now. That'd be cool to catch snakehead with this. BFS snakehead fishing. Oh, oh, came off. Oh, 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 oh. He's on the yak though, so he counts. Off he goes. One thing I learned by mistakes and all the time is that after you get a fish to flop on your kayak, you gotta wipe your lens. If you don't, you have a watermark, a slime mark, and it could be on there for hours. Earlier, I just changed my battery and I saw a slime mark. And I was like, dang it. Some of my footage probably gonna look ugly. Oh, Jesus. There it goes. Bam, got him. Hey, Ethan, Ethan, you gotta be fishing these type of fish. You gotta find your pickerel water. I'm sure you have some pickerels. Pickerels are all over the freaking country. Especially you in the north. Look at that. He's calling for your name. All right, the question is how am I gonna unhook him? Aye. All right. All right, got him back. Off he goes. And I'm back into this cove. Ah, so quick. This wind is relentless, but the bite is so good that I'm not gonna stop. Let me try this side first. Yeah, now I'm like super slimy. Try it on my boots, really good. Should bring a towel next time. One thing I, I wanna mention guys, and I see a lot of this type of stuff a lot lately. A lot of people use a dry towel to hold a fish to unhook them, especially pickerels or bass. I know COVID-19 is here and you know everyone want to go fishing, especially some um, you know newer folks, but you definitely don't want to use a dry towel to hold handle your fish because you're gonna wipe off a lot of slime because it's gonna suck it up. And the slime is really important for them because it's their way of uh, fighting against bad stuff in the water, such as you know bacteria, um, uh, parasites. So don't use a towel. To hold your fish just use it to you know wipe your hands when you're done but if you have to use a towel you know wet your towel completely okay so stop soaking and rubbing slime off the fish a wet towel is definitely gonna still be grippy so um you know oh here goes the fish do, 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 do. Bam. oh y'all but yeah wet towels guys wet towels all right i don't know where you went but definitely he was, should be right around here somewhere. Do, 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 do. If not, another one should come out because this place should have plenty of pickerels. The East Sox. Oh, here it goes, right behind. Here it goes. Oh yeah, line wrapped around my rod. Can I unwrap it? I might lose a fish doing this. All right, you know what? Let's go lift him up. Super dinky guy. I can't really give myself line. I wanted to give myself line, but here he goes. He got him. Look at this dinky. Smallest guy wants his big lure. I mean, he could definitely eat it. So <laughs> any fish that can eat something this big during this cold season will give a lot of energy. So I don't blame him. There's something to the left. There it goes. Got him. Dude, I just casted that right after my last, uh, uh, last release. I was trying to paddle back out. Oh, he death rolled. I never seen a pickle death roll like that. You're not a snakehead. Or both in. All right. Hey, easy, easy, hey, 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 easy. All right. This one definitely bigger than some of the other ones. It feels bigger. 
I'm gonna hold it next to my boot after I unhook him, but he death rode and um, yeah, I gotta make sure I unplug this good. Unhook, unplug. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than my foot. My freaking Asian foot. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, this thing doesn't, oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't uh, swim like a pompadour style lure. But at least it pops and it floats and fish like this, they still slam it. You know, it's like a small little popper, small little frog, right? It has the silicone legs. And the cool thing is, oh, actually this, this might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, heck yeah, this one is the biggest one of the day. Just, yeah, it's over my, uh, my foot. So I'm just gonna call this guy a 12 incher. Hopefully Ethan doesn't mind and he's a, you know, would agree. And let me just pull this guy out. Oh, I see the hook. The hook is off, but his teeth is holding down a the lure. There we go. But there we go. A nice guy right here. Oh yeah, I was disappointed that it's not like a pompadour. But one more thing that I see happening while I'm fishing is that some of these strands are broken. I think from pickerel biting it off. Interesting. Yeah, he's they're shredding it. Pass back out and open. There's a glare here for me because the sun's beating on me. Hope you guys can see. Oh, there's a fish right there. He missed it. There's another one coming. Boom, got him. Oh, there's another fish right there. Look at, look at this, man. This is a pickerel haven. December 13th. Come on, guys. By the way, if I haven't said it already, I haven't caught a bass here for about three years. <laughs> so maybe one day, I can finally catch a bass back in this uh, this lake. But it's, it's been pickerels, 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 even the deeper waters. All right, there he goes. Not a good size one. Guess Jimbo had to go through my files later and see how many fish I have, because I actually lost count. Lost count, man. All right, guys. So I've been fishing for a while and um, it's time's up. I've been trying these weeded matted areas. I had a few small dinky blow ups. Other than that, no biggies. I was hoping for a big one just in case Ethan catches like a pike or something, or a big bass. And um, yep, time is up. But Jimbo's gonna extend this video just a little longer. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite lure for pickerel fishing. It's not this guy here. I mean, this guy was pretty nice. If you guys are new to my channel or if you guys are an Ethan's fan, oh look, there's a picker right there. It was right there. It was probably was uh, following my lure in earlier. This is it, the Sorinoya stick bait. It's this tiny stick bait I swapped to single hooks. Okay, this thing right here is less than a fi my finger length in length. Even smaller than my pinky. Probably my thumb size, okay? Smaller than my thumb, actually. Three grams, and it kicked ass. So let me get out there, I'm gonna catch one fish, and we're gonna wrap up this video here. But I just wanna let you guys know, in the overlay, that's how many fish I've caught, and I did my math, right? There's only one fish that I counted for a a foot, because it's older than a foot, but I said it was gonna be like 10 inches long. But everything else, if it's by length, you know, they're all six inches because they're, they're dinks. Um, they all look like six inches, at least to me. So for my uh, fans here, you guys gotta watch Ethan's channel to see exactly how many fish he has caught. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, work something out with Ethan on who's the winner or loser. But I think we're just gonna do like, you know, more bragging rights than anything. But I'll be quite honest, <laughs> Jimbo had the major advantage, especially with the East Coast, the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream brought some nice warm weather. Like it was freezing the other day. Like the water was freezing on the surface just, just a little bit. And all of a sudden it's like three warm days. It's perfect and fish been active. Some fire. Here it goes. Got him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. Ooh, he's a beast. At least for this water. <laughs> Not a super giant, but definitely would have been one of the bigger fish for the day. Would have been uh, one of those that's bigger than my boots type of fish. Look at that. But unfortunately, it's not the gizmo. So it's not gonna count. But I'm telling you guys, that stick bait is awesome. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Um, this challenge is freaking amazing for those who want to do uh, 
top water fishing in the winter, targeting specific species that's gonna be active in cold water is gonna be the key, your key and your success. And that's what I did today. Uh, Ethan, I hope you caught some nice fish <laughs> with the gizmo, because I sure did. Just didn't catch any big giant ones. But I think with the sheer numbers, I would say I have won, hopefully. So guys, make sure you guys check out Ethan's channel. I left a link in the description below to his channel. And then I left a card to the video where he is doing the gizmo fishing challenge in December.